Hi guys, I have got an epic booty camp class planned for you today. This is a class that you can take to the gym with you, all right? I really encourage you to load up on your resistance. Grab a heavier pair of dumbbells than you're used to working with. Now, today I'm gonna to be demonstrating with a pair of threes because I'm super sore from teaching this class all week, but I just had to record it for you guys. Um, and I'm also in the third trimester of my pregnancy, so I am being a little bit mindful. However, when I do this class for my own personal fitness, I use between a six or an eight kilo dumbbell, alrighty? You're not gonna be using them with your arms, you're purely using them to load up and really build up those glutes. So be brave and let's get peachy. Alrighty guys, we are going to warm up. Let's come onto our hands and knees and just gently flow through some cat cow at our own pace this morning, just to wake up our spine, get a little bit of mobility happening before we get to work. We wanna inhale as we drop our belly and lift our forehead. And then we wanna exhale as we arch our spine and blow out all of the air in our lungs. Let's do another three like that, inhale. And exhale, spreading those fingertips out. Inhale and exhale, good, that's it. Final time, inhale and exhale. Alrighty, tucking your toes under. Let's push up into a high pike. Quick little pedal of the legs to release the backs of the thighs and the calves. That's it, getting a nice little release through the hamstrings. Let's bend our knees deeply now, push our weight through the heels of our hands, bent knee pike, activating the upper back, holding here for three, two, one, and walking the hands in towards the feet, staying folded forward, grabbing opposite elbow. We're gonna bob over to the right, and then we're gonna bob over to the left. Let's do one more each side, over to the right, and then over to the left. Coming back to center, dropping our arms, locking our legs out, straight legs. Beautiful stretch through the backs of the thighs. And then bending our knees deeply and returning to our bent knee pike. From here, we're gonna swing from bent knee pike to high plank. That's it. So it's a bent knee pike to a high plank. Now, if you are pregnant, you do have the option to drop onto your knees. Alrighty, good, bent knee pike, high plank. Two more, bent knee pike, high plank. Final time, bent knee pike, high plank. We're gonna hold the plank for five counts. Four, just getting the body warm, three, Two, one, we're gonna drop onto the knees, untuck the toes, walk our fingertips out to the front of the mat and drop our chest down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Two more like that. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Getting that body ready to get to work. That's it. Let's walk the hands in. Let's tuck our toes under and roll our spine up. Okay, so guys, we are gonna bend our knees to grab our dumbbells, always making sure we bend our knees rather than our spine when we lift up our weights. Our first move of this little circuit style class is also part of our warm up. We have five exercises. Alrighty, we are standing with our feet slightly wider than hip distance toes are facing forward. All we're doing with the dumbbells for our entire standing series is resting the weights above our shoulders. Or should I say holding? Because I don't want you to actually put the weight on your shoulders. I want you to get a little bit of a deltoid and a bicep workout while you're here. All we are doing is working with extra contraction of the glutes in this class today. The way we're gonna get extra prolonged contraction of the muscle is with holds or pulses. 
So every move we do has a hold or a pulse. We're starting very simply with a squat. We hold for three, two, one. We squeeze our abs in to stand up. We do 12 reps. Inhale to come down. Three, two, one. Weight through the heels to stand up. Reminder that I want you to send your hips back when you squat rather than bringing your weight through your knees and your toes. Hinge back through the hips, weight through the heels. Even think about lifting the toes up off the mat. We're gonna do another eight. Let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Seven more. Come on down for three, two, one, and up. Six more. Three, two, one, and up. Five more. Three, two, one, dig those heels in, that's it. You've got three more. Good. Two more. Three, two, one. All right, final time. Three, two, one, and up. Everything stays the same. All I want you to do is lift up onto your left tippy toe. We're moving into pulses. We come down three, two, one. Drive through that right heel to stand up. Three, two, one, drive through the right heel. 10 more. Three, two, one, push up. Three, two, one, eight more. Three, two, one, that's it. Seven more. Three, two, one, nice work. Six more. Three, two, one, five more. Three, two, one, four more, three, two, one. That's it, come on, two more, three, two, one. Final time, three, two, one. Come up, switch. We now drive through the left heel. Three, two, one, push that heel in. Three, two, one, nice work, eight more. Three, two, one, that's it. Seven more, good. All right, six more. Three, two, one, work that left butt cheek. Three, two, one, five more. Three, two, one, four more. Open through the chest, three more. Three, two, one. All right, guys, two more. Three, two, one. Final time. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, we're standing side on, or at least I am to demonstrate for you. The weights are gonna stay above our shoulders. We're moving into a narrow lunge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left toe back in line with my right heel. The feet are hip distance apart. From here, we're gonna come down into a nice narrow lunge, hold for three, drive through the front heel to stand up. Inhale, exhale, make that right butt cheek work. 10 more, three, two, one. Drive up, nine more, three, two, one, that's it, eight more, three, two, one, keep those abs in, that's it, two, one, good, six more, three, two, one, keep that left heel up, three, two, one, make the right butt cheek do the work, three, two, one, four more, three, two, one, three more, three, two, one. Guys, you've got two more, three, two, one. Last time, three, two, one, and up. Left foot returns to the front, right toe comes back. We ready? Let's go, three, two, one. Left butt cheek, three, two, one, make that left leg do the work. Three, two, one. You have nine more. Three, 
two, one, eight more, three, two, one, seven more, three, two, one, six more, three, two, one, five more, three, two, one, four more, three, two, one, that's it, three more, three, two, one, come on guys, two more, stay low for me, that's it, final time, come on down for three, two, one, and up, oh, okay, we can give those arms a break, we're going to come down onto the mat, we're going to keep one dumbbell handy, and we're going to come on to our right side. Now we are gonna be propped up on the right forearm because even though our main focus is booty today, I do wanna focus on our Pilates corset and our transverse abdominis. So to get the focus into the core, I want you to make sure you're not slouching. Lift up through the waist. Make sure that the elbow is in under the shoulder. I don't wanna see this. You're gonna slouch and you're gonna strain your shoulder. Make your abs do the work. Make your deltoid, the outer upper arm, do the work. Legs are bent, heels are in line with the booty and feet are flexed. Grab your dumbbell and pop it in the crook of that top left knee. Really use those abs. All you're gonna do is open your leg to hip height. It's not a wide lift. We hold for three, two, one, I encourage you to squeeze your butt cheeks. You close, you never completely close the legs. One centimeter, lift straight back up. Three, two, one, hover, lift. Three, two, one, hover, lift. Nine more, three, two, one, open through the chest. Three, two, one, that's it. Three, two, one. Well done, you've got seven more. If you want more of a challenge for your abs, you can extend your top arm. That's it, six more. Three, two, one. You've got five more. Three, two, one. This is where a booty band really adds some extra work if you've chosen to use one, well done. There's so many options with this class. We've got four more. Three, two, one, three more, three, two, one. Don't close all the way, you hover, you lift straight back up, that's it. Good, come on guys, two more, three, two, one. Final time, lift up, hold up. The last hold is 10 seconds. Nine, get that waist working, eight, seven, six, the booty should be burning, five, heel in line with the knee, four, three, two, one, take it down, give that tush a bit of a whack, and let's go straight to the other side. So, we are propped up on our left forearm. Good, so we're already on move four. We've got one more move after this, and we get up and we do it all again. Okay, dumbbell in the crook of the knee, feet are flexed, heels in line with the butt. Once again, make sure that you're lifting up through your waist. Get those abs to turn on. Top arm extended if you want more of a posture and a core challenge. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Close to hover, lift. Three, two, one. Hover, lift. Three, two, one. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Nine more. That's it. And down. Eight more. Three, two, one, hover, lift, seven more, three, two, one, belly button in, that's it, three, two, one, come on, six more, three, two, one, shoulders back, three, two, one, five more, three, two, one, don't let that ankle lag behind, keep it in line with the knee, that's it. All right, guys, come on. We're at three, two, one. You've got two more. Three, two, one. Final time. Lift up. Hold for 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six. It's all about that constant contraction. Come on, we've got four, three, two, one. Take it down. All righty. We are gonna come onto our backs. So, have your dumbbells handy. And what we're gonna do is we're going to have the dumbbells resting on the hip bones or just below the hip bones. Quick note for anyone out there who's pregnant, if you're uncomfortable having the dumbbells here, they're not near baby, but if you're uncomfortable, don't use them or rest them up on your thighs. What I do wanna encourage you guys to do is not hold the dumbbells in your hands. I want the weight taken by your lower body. So to do that, you get the heels of your hands and you just hold the dumbbells in place and let them hang off the sides of your hips, okay? To get set up, we've got our heels under our knees, our feet are hip distance apart. This is a hip thruster series. Hips are gonna be lifted the whole time. We're not lying flat on our back. We're gonna thrust up. From here, we do three pulses, digging the heels in. One, two, three. We're gonna come down, but we don't come all the way. We don't touch our tailbone to the mat. We thrust straight back up. Three, two, one. 10 more just like that. Three, two, one. Nine more. Three, two, one. Eight more. Three, two, one, seven more. Three, two, one, shoulders down. Three, two, one, five more. Squeeze, 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 that's it. Four more, three, two, one, three more. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, last one, three, two, one. You're gonna hold, you're gonna squeeze your butt cheeks as hard as you can, it's 10 seconds. Nine, eight, this is where I warn you, we don't drop the hips after this, okay? You've got five, four, three, two, one. Don't drop, come onto your tippy toes. Lift the hips back up. We start again with the pulses. Three, two, one. You lower, you don't lower all the way. Lift, three, two, one. 10 more, three, two, one. Nine more, three, two, one. Eight more, three, two, one. Seven more, three, two, one, six more, three, two, one. Come on guys, five more, three, two, one. You have four more, three, two, one. You have three more, three, two, one. You've got two more, three, two, one. Final time, three, two, last one, lift, hold. Squeeze those butt cheeks as hard as you can. Don't let those knees flare out. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels, drop the hips, and pop those dumbbells to the side. Okay, let's hug our knees into our chest, release our lower back. That's it. Let's drop our knees over to the right and then take our gaze and our upper body over to the left. Three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Two more. That's it, nice little reset before we get up and do it all again. That's it, I hope that you've lifted a little heavier than you normally do. Of course I need you to listen to your body. Let's go to the other side. So when you're lifting, it's okay for those legs to shake a little. It's okay for every thrust or extension of the legs to feel like it's a huge effort. What's not okay is to feel it in your back. So be mindful of that and know your limits. 
Yes, working out is about challenging ourselves. However, we also need to make sure that we're mindful <laughs> that we don't injure ourselves. Okay, we are gonna get up and we're gonna do it all again, my loves. So, we start with our little squatties. Baby's having a nice little kick. I think it likes this workout. So, hips, so rather, feet, not hips, baby brain, are a little wider than hip distance apart. Dumbbells are back above our shoulders. We're doing the three second hold. We know what's ahead of us now, so we're gonna fly through it. Are we ready? Weight is through the heels. Let's go. Three, two, one, drive up. Three, two, one, squeeze your abs to stand up. 10 more. And up. Nine more. And up. Eight more. And up. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Three, two, one. Six more. Three, two, one. Five more. Three, two, one. Four more. Three, two, one. Three more. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one. That's it, last time. Three, two, one, and up. Left tippy toe, pulses. Let's go. Three, two, one. Right heel does the work. Make sure it is that right butt cheek that carries the weight. One, two, three, nine more. Good, that's it, eight more. Open through that chest for me. Good, seven. Nice, six more. One, two, three, five more. One, two, three, four more. One, two, three, three more. One, two, three, come on, two more. One, two, three, final time. One, two, three, up, we switch, we ready, let's go. Good, one, two, three, 10 more. One, two, three, nine more. One, two, three, eight more. One, two, three, seven more. One, two, Three. That's it. Come on. Six more. One, two, three, five more. One, two, three, four more. I know those arms are working hard to hold your dumbbells, but I want you to stay with me. That's it. Three more. One, two, three, two more. One, two, three. Left butt cheek. Last one. One, two, three, and up. Onto our side. Left heel, back, left tippy toe, back in line with the right heel. Standing up tall, abs connected. Let's go. Three seconds, drive up. Come on down, drive up through that right heel. Lift your toes off the mat. You've got nine. And up, eight more. And up, seven more. That's it. And up, six more. And up, five more. That's it. All right, guys, come on. Four more. And up, three more. And up, two more. And up. Last time, and up. Switch, right tippy toes, we ready? Let's go. The left butt cheek needs to do the work now. Make sure that you're not hunching your shoulders as the effort increases. Make sure you're not turning off your core when you need it, when you stand up. Eight more. Up, seven more. We hold, then we lift. Six more. And up. Five more. 
and up. Come on, just four more. And up. Three more. And up. Two more. That's it. All right, final time. And up. Coming on down onto the mat. Remembering that we're going to use one dumbbell. We're coming onto our right side. Right forearm under the right shoulder. I want you to think that you look like an 80s infomercial when you're in this position. None of this, okay? Lift up, nice tucked chin, nice long neck, open through the chest. Pilates corset is working hard, supporting our baby with our core if we are pregnant. Dumbbell in the crook of the knee. Are we ready? This time we're mixing it up slightly. We're gonna do a little pulse. Three, two, one. Hover, lift. Three, two, one. Hover, lift. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Three, two, one. Hover, lift. Three, two, one. Hover, lift. Eight more. That's it. Good. Belly button to spine. Shoulders back. Nice. Six more. Three, two, one. Five more. Three, two, one. Strong flex through the foot. It's going to hold that dumbbell in place. That's it. You've got three more. Keep that posture perfect for me. You've got two more. Good. Last one. Do your three pulses. One, two, three. You're going to hold. Ten, nine. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Eight, seven, six, five. Don't slouch. Four, three, two, one. Down. Give the tush a whack. We flip. Flip it and reverse it. Okay. So, exact same thing, my loves. We're flying through this series. Are we ready? Crook of the knee, flex the foot, lift up through the waist, open through the chest, arm extended, let's go. Three, two, one. Hover only, none of this little sneaky break. Okay, good. All right, 10 more. Three, two, one, nine more. Three, two, one, eight more. Three, two, one, seven more. Three, two, one, six more. Come on, you've got this. We're really working with that heavier dumbbell, making our booty do the work. I love doing this with a six or a seven. It feels amazing, it's hard and you're sore, but in a good way. All right, guys. Let's keep going. We've got another three. Good. And two more. That's it. All right, come on, last one. Three, two, one. You hold. You breathe. Eight, seven, lift up. Six, that's it. Five, four, three, flex foot. Two, one, take it down. All righty. If you're pregnant, let's do the boring thing and lie down, then roll. I know, tedious, but effective for looking after our core. Alrighty guys, so dumbbells, hip bones or thighs, heels under the knees. We're letting the weight hang off our body. We're gonna drive our weight through our heels. We lift up. So once we're up, we do our pulses. One, two, three. We come down, we don't lower all the way, we wanna keep the contraction, we lift. Three, two, one. 10 more. Three, two, one. Nine more. Three, two, one. Eight more. Three, two, one. Seven more. Three, two, one. One, you have six more. Three, two, one. You've got five more. Three, two, one. Give me four more. Three, two, one. Three more. 
three, two, one. Come on, you've just got two more. Three, two, one. Last one, we're gonna lift, we're gonna pulse. One, two, three. Remember, this is where we hold it. We clench our butt cheeks as hard as we can. We channel our weight through our heels. We hold for another five seconds. Then, without dropping, we come onto our toes. In three, two, one. Let's come up onto the tippy toes. Reset if you need to. Three pulses. One, two, three. Come down, but not all the way. Lift. Three, two, one. Ten more. Three, two, one. That butt is working so hard. Three, two, one. Eight more. Three, two, one. One, come on, just seven more. Three, two, one. Six more. Three, two, one. Give me five more. Three, two, one. All right, guys, four more. Three, two, one. Three more than we hold. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, two more, I know. That's it. Come on, I want you to stay with me. Final time. Three, two, one. I've got to have you hold it now. 10 seconds. Nine. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Eight, seven, six. Lift a little higher. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels. Drop the body. Dumbbells come to the side. Grab a hold of those knees gently and bring them in to your chest. Have a nice little breath here. Inhale and exhale. Drop your knees to the right. Take your gaze and your left arm over to the left. Right hand can push onto the knees. Nice work. One more breath here. Good. Okay, switch. Beautiful work. Just making sure that we release that back straight away just to prevent any tightness. Good. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. If I was doing this workout for me, I would be doing a third round. If you feel like you have a little bit of energy left in your tank, take a moment and get up and go for round three. Either you'll remember the moves or you can just hit rewind. If you are pregnant like me, I want you to be mindful that getting a great workout in is awesome and you don't need to push yourself too far. For me, I'm 28 weeks. I've been very active this week and that is where I'm gonna leave it. But the best thing about this workout is in the description below, I've written out all of the moves so you don't even have to follow the video once you've done it a couple of times, you can have it written in your notes and take it anywhere with you. I will ask you to hang out with me for another two minutes to have a little stretch, okay? So, the hard work's over, yay. Let's release that body. Coming onto our hands and knees, we're up on our fingertips. We're gonna walk those fingertips to the front of the mat. We're gonna connect to our core, have a nice big inhale. And we're gonna exhale, sink our chest down, keep our hips nice and high. Two more like that. Final time, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful work, dropping our forearms down onto the mat, resting our forehead onto the mat, taking the fingertips together. Lifting the fingertips above the head and then dropping them back down. Good. So this is a really nice one to release your shoulders. Even though this wasn't an upper body workout, holding those dumbbells for our standing series did get them burning a little bit. Give me one more. Good. Press the fingertips into the mat. Pull your core in. Then lift up through the upper body. From here, we're gonna walk our hands in and we're gonna come onto our butt. We're gonna do a little release called butterfly stretch. 
taking the soles of the feet together and then finding wherever is comfortable for you for a really nice deep stretch. So you might find that walking your hands really deep and extended along the floor and folding your upper body forward is what works for you. You might find that grabbing a hold of your feet and using your biceps to pull your body forward feels fantastic. For me, I'm being very mindful of my pelvis during my pregnancy. So all I'm gonna do is grab a hold of my ankles and rest my elbows on my knees and have a little fold forward like this. So we're all gonna find the stretch that feels right for us. This is also really nice for the lower back. Good, let's make sure that we're not shrugging our shoulders. I hope right now you're giving yourself a little bit of a pat on the back. And I'd really love to know in the comments what weights you decided to go with. This is a great class that you can return to and build on. Maybe you start with a pair of fours then two weeks later, fives, before you know it, you're on a pair of six kilo dumbbells. Alrighty, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you loved it and I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye.